What's up? My name is Ryu for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. This is Shadol Clown Deck Profile. Finally, we can send in the clowns. I was trying to get this video done for about a week and a half now, but I had too many like rage people just like drop rage quit on me. I wanted to give you guys some amazing duels, and I I just was not getting those vibes. And I'm very um I'm very picky on about like what I want to post. Uh, like, you know, I, I don't want to just, like, destroy someone. I want to basically showcase something really cool. And that's what I feel I've been finally able to do. And I know some, some people are going to be like, you just cherry-pick the videos. No, I'm trying to make something entertaining while also showing off the deck at the same time. Because I don't just want to be like, here's another Shadol deck profile. I don't want to be that guy. So let's run down to the deck. Because I haven't been posting about it in a long while, but I'm going to start doing it a little more often. But don't worry, creative decks are still coming out. So we have one BLS, two Shadol Beasts. Two Shadol Dragon, two Squad Mata, two Trick Clown, two Damage Juggler, one Hat Tricker, three Mathematician, two Hedgehog, two Falcon, two Maxi, three Availer, two Instant Fuse, one Raigeki, three Shadol Fusion, one Foolish, three El Shadol Fusion, one Book of Moon, two Sinister Shadow Games, one Core, one Vanities, one Call of the Haunted. I like the tech Call of the Haunted. I feel I could have swapped it out for another Damage Juggler. But Call of the Haunted has proven itself. Basically, they get uh, Window off the board, or I want to combo further with Norden. It's just been super useful. So I'm going to go over my card choices a little bit uh, more in a sec, but I just want to run down the extra deck. One El Shadal Earth, one El Shadal Water, and some of you are probably going, huh, why would you run that? Well, Norden plus any Shadal with the fusion card is going to bring this out. And if you don't know this one, I, I'm not the best at pronunciating things. That's pretty much been a thing. But, um, neither player can special summon monsters from the hand or graveyard with spell or trap effects. That right there, ladies and gents, gives Shadals a fighting chance against Necrots. Not that they don't have, you know, ways to deal with the deck. It just makes it easier during game one to deal with the deck. You bring this out, and it's backed by something like Call of the Haunted then it's fucking scary. Now, I also run the triple Veiler for that reason too, and double maxi to get to it faster. I feel three instant fusion would have helped. I was running three instant fusion, but I did have to cut because I wanted the second clown in. The second clown was more crucial than anything to, uh, to you know, basically get it out further. But so far, it's been great. Then we have three Construct, two Winda, two Norden, one Trish, one uh, Perform Age, Trap Tease, uh, Trap Tease, Trap Tree, trap Tease Magician. See, I'm horrible at pronouncing things. One Castell, one Exiton Knight, one Degas or Emerel, and one Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller is also really good with Norden because it'll come out at 2200 and then basically it's harder to get off the board. So let's roll the dual videos and get right into it. The first clip I have for you guys, and this is actually against Gem Knight. Um, Gem Knight's Clown, which is just hilarious. So all I did was just set, set the uh, fusion and say go because I didn't really feel I had a strong play. So I made a window right afterwards, just mainly because I didn't want to take direct damage, and I felt it was the most optimized uh, play, the best way to play it. <clears throat> I, I get a little bit random on plays once in a while, but he sets that warning, man. That warning's going to help him so much. So I'm going to uh, go for the El Shadal Fusion number two. He's going to warning that. That's perfectly fine. Bro, 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 you hurt my BLS play because I wanted to end the game, but he's got the, he's got the juggler. He doesn't want to take the damage. I personally would have taken the damage. It's only 300. But I, I know he's just like trying to set up here. And that's pretty much what he's trying to do, set up the Trick Clown. Go for like a normal summon and go for, you know, a rank 4 to get over Winda. So knowing that, I need to basically just speed things up on my side a little bit. So I'm actually going to uh, bring the Dragon just to get more cards. And that's perfectly fine. He's got the Clown. That's absolutely fine. The reason I tribute for the Dragon, I know most people wouldn't do that, is because I know when it gets flipped... I'm going to get more cards. See, there's the one one I was talking about. He sucks it up. He's going to get that Trick Clown back. Now he can just, like, freely go off. And he's going to go for Hat Trigger. Going for the Trap Tease. Uh, trap Tease. Trap Tease Magician. God damn it. Going to the Shadol Beast. Get the two. Get rid of my Trick Clown. Trick Clown's coming back. Hedgehog. Basically search out for Shadol Fusion. Because he only has extra deck monsters. Now... Some of you are probably wondering what the hell happened there. I believe it's because of this guy. He makes you, like, detach one. I'm not 100% sure why he detached there, but I got Windows Effect through it. So I'm not 100% sure because I'm still getting used to a lot of the newer stuff, to be honest, like the Trick Clown stuff. I'm still researching the engine to basically take it to a whole new level with Synchrons. 
Of course with Synchrons! That's always the answer, Ryu. You always play it with Synchrons. I'm going to make a Trishuli here because I can. I know some people say, but you say it wrong. Get over it. I can't help it. That's just, that's how it is. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep reciting that over and over again. Um, I believe I can drop in BLS and Winda here to lock down complete game. Squad mod is going to go off. I'm just going to send that because it doesn't even matter anymore. Go for double attack and that's going to be GG. Thank you to my opponent for actually staying in for that. Let's go to the second game. Here we go, second game. Opening hand is okay, and this is against Perform Age. Perform Age, Clown, something, something. It's, It's got a bit of everything. It's basically rank 4 spam and it, with wavering eyes. It's just hilarious. Um, I'm going to affect Miller his searcher right here because this is, you know, the searcher. I don't want that going off. I'm going to play Maxi, assuming he was going to go for a play. You know, just to basically, because that's what I come to expect with this deck. I dropped that to get it in the graveyard to actually utilize it, like my opponent was trying to do uh, last round. So I summon Falco. I go for the Insufuse. He's going to drop the Maxi. You guys already know what I'm going for. I'm going for my favorite Warder Lord, as I like to call it. I, I call I call her the Warder Lord, and I'm going to rip cards from his hand, get the clown, and then just attack in for some nice damage. Now there's not too too much I could do to stop any following plays here, but it doesn't really look like he has any following plays. So I'm like, okay, this is good for me. So I get a foolish burial. I'm a foolish squad mana to send the beast to get another draw. The draw actually ends up being Vanny's emptiness, which many of you already know. Vanny's emptiness is like god tier just in anything. So this is actually going to help me sway the fight. So here he goes for the Pendulum Scales. I'm just going to go for Vanny's Emptiness now, thinking that maybe he does have something, you know, to stop it. Nope, he's just going to set a Perform Mage Help uh, uh, help Princess. Is that what it is? Um, anyway, I'm going to swing at it. Vanny's Emptiness is up, so he can't Special Summon. So I'm in a good position. He's in a kind of bad position. He summons that Scepter. This is what I was talking about. Like, I have no idea exactly what he's using. It's a mix of just everything rank 4. So I'm just gonna book a moon, because in case he gets a van, he's off the four, you know, the field. Why not? Just have the book of moon just back up. I have the Regeki. I was wanting to play it, but the only reason I didn't is that I was waiting for the fusion card, and I'm gonna be waiting just a little bit longer to get that fusion card. So I'm actually able to put 2,700 damage in. So he didn't want to set nothing, and uh, he ain't doing he ain't doing fucking good out of his draws either. I don't even know. Let me let me just pause this real quick. I don't even know if he was running MST. It's like, bro, do you? That's what he was waiting for. Okay, that explains a lot. That's pretty much his MST. Now, I'll be fair. My deck doesn't even use MST. I have Shadol Dragon though, so you know it's something. But you lose a lot of games. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. You lose a lot of games uh, not running MST. I, I I would side it though. But um, he's gonna set that Archfiend Eater. I'm gonna draw into a Veiler, and I'm like, crap. I gotta set the Raigeki now because if I don't set the Raigeki, I'm gonna have to send one. And if I send one, it's gonna break emptiness, and I do not want that right now. I want to control the board until I can OTK as much as possible. I finally top deck the fuse. Let's play the Raigeki, break the vanities, go into Trick Clown. That's Scoop Face. Roll game three. Game three, and this is actually against uh, Zephra. Is, it, is that how you pronounce these guys? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's basically the the really cool pendulum deck that is super hard to build because there's really no cookie cutter build for it, like you know mold of what you want to you know basically go. This is pretty much the best variant from when I was researching because I wanted to bring it to the council. Is the uh, it's the Telenite variant, but I'm just curious to see exactly what he was running myself. Yeah, okay, it's not the Telenite. This is just like pure. He's just running the one Deneb for extra search power. Okay, that's that's interesting to say the least. He's gonna play his um. This is their this is their instant fu uh, not instant fusion. This is their infernity barrier card. Where a spell trap and monster effect is activated, you banish one face up one, and you get to negate it. So it's pretty nasty. But luckily for me, I have Shadal fusion because extra deck monster on board. Yo, uh, here comes the clown play. I uh, I actually forget that I normal summon. I'm like, wait, I want a normal summon. Why can't I normal summon? I felt so stupid when I realized it. And, you know, we all have those, like, brain fart moments. But for me, it's a, it's a little more common, to be honest. It's a little more common. He's going to uh, Pendulum Summon. That's absolutely fine. He's going to go for Effect. I'm going to Chain Effect because I want to break his scales. I'm basically dissecting his cards one by one. Basically, uh, what this guy over here does, because I know these guys are not super common, 
he pops one of your Satellar Knights. I think it's Satellar Knights, is it? Is it Satellar Knights? Yeah, Teller or Zephyra cards, and then basically you can pop one back row. It's it's pretty cool. It's a one for one situation. He goes in for this guy, which is the most hilarious thing. This is Horus, the synchro version, and um, it's actually getting two effects. One is you can target one face up uh, card on the field and negate it, and then the other one is that you can choose, you know, a monster on your opponent's side and take it. That's what he's trying to do. So, lucky for me, I have MVP Valor to poop all over it. Uh, not to sound like a total asshole, but it makes me happy when I'm able to poop on things that make my day suck. And that would be... <laughs> that would have been one that would have sucked. So I bring back the, uh, the Shadol Dragon for obvious reasons. I'm going to put his scale back because that's going to be the main issue. I'm going to bring back the Clown just to bring back the Clown. Pop that, tack that. He's got nothing now. Now he's in top deck situation. If you have Bubble Man, sir, I would hate you for life. But, you know, just saying, I would. But um, at this at this point, there's really not much he can do. I'm just going to go Squad Mata, go into the Trapeze Magician, double attack, and then go for game. And that's going to be game. Thank you guys for watching the, the duel. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And let's roll into the adaptations. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out the videos and the annotations as always. And I will see you guys later. Let me know what other decks you want to see by requesting them down in the comments below. All you gotta do is just request and I will make it happen. Thank you guys again for the continued support and I'll see you later. Peace!